Hi everyone, in uh, today's video I am going to talk about the holistic research approach. So often students get confused as to what is holistic research. Is it a study design? Is it a data collection method? Or what is it and how do we use it in research? So holistic research approach is more like a philosophy. It is not like a research design. So often students in their research design section they write that I adopted a holistic research approach. It is not the correct unless you are explaining it more from a philosophy. So what is holistic research? So holistic research is, um, uh, is based on the fact that there is multiple factors uh, which interact in our daily lives uh, and based on those multiple factor interaction we cannot study a phenomenon purely based on one perspective. We have to look at it from different perspectives. So to look at it from different perspectives helps us to gain a holistic or a whole or a, um, absolute complete understanding of that phenomena. Um, I know you didn't probably understand what I mean so I will give you a couple of examples. Let's say you want to understand why is cricket as a sport so popular in India. Alright so that is what you want to study. Why is it so popular? So when you look at it, look, you are trying to understand the phenomena of uh, the popularity of cricket particularly in India. It is like an ethnographic research as well. So ethnography is when we are trying to study a population or a certain culture. So we are trying to study India as a culture or Indians as a culture and we are trying to study the popularity of cricket. So you look at it either from a cultural point of view. Uh, is it only in India? Is it an Asian culture thing? Uh, is it popular in other Asian cultures or is it only popular in India? Or uh, you can look at it from a historical point of view. Has it always been popular or has something changed in the last 10, 15, 20, 30 years that it has become popular? You can look at it from a commercial or economic point of view that uh, is the popularity linked to uh, uh, higher living standards uh, of people, uh, affordability of people, uh, um, uh, lesser, uh, 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 more employment rate. So depends on what angle you look at it from. You can look at it from different angles and gain a holistic or a whole picture understanding of it. Uh, you can look at it from the point of view of uh, growth in satellite television. Um, uh, building of more stadiums so from an infrastructure point of view were more uh, cricket stadiums built that's why it became more popular so when you look at a phenomena and why it is like that from different angles from different philosophies from not different philosophies but from different perspectives and and, 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 and that gives you a good understanding of the phenomena so when you present that in research and you can show your examiners and reviewers that you have looked at this from different angles it tells the examiners and reviewers that you have a very good understanding of this topic. Um, another example I can give you is that let's say you are trying to study is alcoholism uh, uh, prevalent in the Australian culture uh, more than any other culture. So you are looking at Australians um, as an ethnographic uh, research um, where you are looking at a particular culture and you are trying to see if alcoholism is uh, higher in this culture compared to other western cultures or compared to uh, other countries in the southern hemisphere or you can make a comparison between Australian and British cultures uh, which are very similar and they have come from the same background so you can look at it from a historical perspective you can look at it from an economic perspective you can look at it from a cultural perspective again uh, you can look at it from a, a, in, a better employment um, perspective uh, so economic perspective as well so you can look at it from different angles so it will tell you that um, Australians are um, uh, is, is the alcoholism always been very high? Uh, is it uh, there uh, only in this decade or has it always been there in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s? You can do a comparison. Uh, you can look at it from a people's affordability point of view that as salaries have gone up or the economies have become better, uh, the GDP has gone up, uh, has the alcoholism improved? Uh, you can look at it from a stress point of view that maybe um, higher stress has led to higher alcoholism. Uh, so there are so many uh, different angles and you can look at and the more perspectives you take uh, the different perspectives you take it gives you a holistic understanding of a research topic. So that's why uh, holistic research is more like a philosophy. Don't explain it like a research design. Explain it more like a philosophy and that will help you with the examiners and reviewers. So I hope this video was useful and let me know if I've missed something. Um, the whole idea behind this video is that we can learn from one another and others can learn from us as well. I, I don't claim to be an expert in all topics. I just present what I know. Little knowledge that I have based on the books that I have read. So thank you for watching and uh, see you